It is time now for Kyle's Weather Classroom, and more than two dozen tornadoes have been confirmed in eastern Iowa and western Illinois over the past couple of weeks, with several tornadoes coming in with a rating of EF2. Today we're talking about those tornado ratings on the Enhanced Fujita scale and how each category is differentiated. Oh my god! A scary scene in Kelowna, Illinois on the morning of April 4th as a tornado oh tore through, God. causing major damage to a tire shop, gas station, and restaurant. It was just one of more than two dozen tornadoes in the area on March 31st, April 4th, and 5th. On average, there are about 800 tornadoes reported each year in the United States, and each one is given a rating between 0 and 5 on the Enhanced Fujita Scale. The EF scale has been in place since February 1, 2007, an update to the Fujita Scale created by Dr. Ted Fujita of the University of Chicago in 1971. The scale assigns a rating based on estimated wind speed by looking at 28 separate damage indicators after the tornado. Damage surveys are conducted by the National Weather Service in the hours and days after the tornadoes occur to determine the rating. An EF0 is a tornado that causes minor damage to structures with estimated winds of 65 to 85 miles per hour. An EF1 tornado causes moderate damage with 86 to 110 mile per hour winds. The National Weather Service said damage caused in Rock Island was from an EF1 tornado. Several homes were damaged along with trees being uprooted and power lines snapped. An EF2 causes considerable damage with estimated winds of 110 to 135 miles per hour. Cars can be lifted off the ground and homes can be shifted off their foundation. Mobile homes can also be destroyed. You're looking at EF2 damage from a farm in Tipton, Iowa after the March 31st severe weather outbreak. EF3 tornadoes have winds up to 165 miles per hour and can cause severe damage to larger buildings, vehicles, and trees. An EF4 tornado caused major damage in Kyoto, Iowa on March 31st. Extreme damage was seen with peak winds estimated to be 170 miles per hour. EF4 tornadoes can have wind speeds up to 200 miles per hour. A tornado with wind speeds exceeding 200 miles per hour is an EF5, destroying anything in its path. The last EF5 tornado in Iowa was in Parkersburg on May 25, 2008. The last EF5 in Illinois was in Plainfield on August 28, 1990.